The BC Penitentiary was built in New Westminster in, in 1878. It opened its doors and uh, it closed them in 1980. And it had quite a history. And I lived on the penitentiary property after it was closed and torn down most of it. I think they kept the guardhouse or a couple of So this poem came up. I was sitting out on my balcony, and when I'd sit out there late at night having to smoke, there's some strange noises. You'd look at the street light, and it was a bit foggy. You'd swear you saw something hazy pass by. Just like a ghost. I'm sure they were there. I don't think they ever were. So, on the old Pen property spirits lurk and hide. Ghostly voices whisper in the pale moonlight. A cell door slams shut with a thunderous clap. A hazy noose dangles a blood, a fortune, and yesterday's ghosts still walk these. Browns at night. Built in 1878, she was a fortress strong, a bleak home for felons that did the law wrong. Her tall cement walls stood large inside our town. This daunting human cage never let her guard down. She stood at full attention, an ominous landmark. Cold. Gray, dark, harsh, stern, stark. As a youngster, I remember Cumberland Street on hot, sultry days, sweating with the heat. The inmates in groups and gangs toiled in the yard, lined up in the sights of the tower guns and guards. The murderer and thief labored side by side with leg irons and secrets they were tethered and tied. 1976 was the Penn's worst riot date. The East Wing was destroyed in this meeting with Davis. In the aftermath, she was scheduled for teardown. She'd outlived her welcome in our residential town. She closed in 1980 on the 10th day of May. But listen to my words and hear me when I say on the old DC Penn problem, spirits lurk and hide. Thank you.